Hello guys, welcome to my channel Rooming Devi. Today I am going to show you a beautiful concept which is called Green Home, which is here in Green Point at Cape Town, which is there almost a couple of years, which I was not knowing. Just one of my friend told Devi it will be a very good thing which you can show to your viewers. So I am really thrilled to show you this uh, Green Home. How uh, without uh, I mean say electricity and all those uh, you know facilities of a house, how these houses are made up of, and it is completely zero carbon free actually. So that's what I am going to show you the details of this house and what I understand this house cost is around uh, I can say uh, 300,000 rand it was in 2019 so let's say I can consider 400,000 sell around let's say nearly 18 to 19 lakhs of house and this house contains the green sustainability all the equipments like solar um, bathroom rain water harvesting and even the components are made up of containers actually you know the shipping containers and how they have tried to put certain specific uh, you know items inside those containers to keep these houses cool and at the same time give you a good living condition so let me cover you this uh, details in this video so stay tuned if you are new to my channel don't forget to click the subscribe button on my channel which is going to help my channel to grow. So this is what is all about this green home. So you can see this is a metal container which is you know the shipping containers uh, which is which is they have used this for the house. I mean this unit consists of one bedroom house and also a lounge and also and I can show you this is the kitchen uh, room actually I mean where even like a lounge kitchen plus your hall you have a TV here so both things are here actually in this uh, greenhouse concept of this uh, here which is shown and what I there are a lot of things details which is written here if you have time you can come and go through it how this green mod actually minute details which is written here and what I can give one uh, you know compliment in this uh, video that the team Mahali which is group of graduates which have created this concept and uh, really I'm very uh, thankful for my channel that they really created such a sustainable model and uh, and I'm uh, really proud that these people have done such a beautiful thing for the low budget income people who, who can sustain with this uh, I mean greenhouse. So let me show you something details about this greenhouse what it contains actually. Now you got an idea of this house, how the house looks. Now you can see this is the metal container, okay. And this is where you can see the door locks actually here. So what they have done, they have put here the paper powder, I mean the, the newspaper powders, which uh, they have shaded, I can say shaded uh, newspaper powder. Inside this actually the entire container is filled up with shaded uh, newspaper powder and which uh, has the, you know, some chemicals they have mixed up and that really keeps this house cool actually from the outside temperature i mean during summer it is cool and during winter it, it makes warm this is also pest preventive chemicals they have used it with, along with this uh, paper uh, shreds so this is what the entire container you can see the entire containers is filled up with uh, with this paper shreds the entire metallic container inside that is all the paper shreds are there and behind this they have the dry uh, board which they have kept it inside the container so that means two things are there one, one I told you the newspaper shredded newspaper powders I can say paper powders along with chemical which is filled inside the container I mean uh, inside this container and which protects the paste and second thing is this dry board which keeps also safe from heat and other uh, I mean climatic uh, changes so it keeps the two, two houses really comfortable to stay actually in various temperatures they are also considered the safety of the people who are going to stay in this. So let's say if I am going to close this window, let's say I close this window. So now let me go out and there is no way you can open this. So if you lock this window, then you cannot open from outside. So that's that's the safety parameter they have also considered here. And uh, then I'll show you something. There's a table here. They have put a 
air conditioned fan i mean like it's exactly not an air conditioner here which you can even use an air condition based on your grid power and you can uh, use even uh, more solar power which can give the power to uh, run an air condition in your room uh, it is a fan actually which is running under uh, solar power right now and uh, this all these lights are also going through the solar power and let me take you to the bedroom so you, you got a glimpse of this bedroom which is really beautiful quite cozy and looks nice actually and i really like the setup of this bedroom my tiny lights here and you can see nice roof made up of uh, this uh, you know uh, boards so let me tell you the bed i mean the bed mattress what it is made up of let me show you that so this bed mattress you can see this uh, this bed mattress is made up of a bamboo plant so it's first time i'm hearing a bed mattress is made of bamboo plant i don't know exactly the scientific reason or might be it is very uh, good for your back I, i don't know exactly why they made it bamboo i mean plant but that's what they told me that this bed uh, is made up of uh, bamboo plant i mean the mattress and uh, this this headrest is made up of hemp plant and that's where this uh, entire bed setup is like that and uh, these are all i mean this cells are all plain boards and the roof you can see this roof is made up of some mixture of some plastic and exactly they could not told me exactly why it is made but i can see it is very soft actually it is not like a very hard roof but i can see i can press it it's very soft so it is made up of plastic and some kind of a mixture actually exactly i, I do not know exactly what it is made up of let me now show you the uh, the floor how it is made up of so this floor you can see this floor is made up of the entire i mean green house is made up of with the pellet wood a pellet is just tree so the, they made the entire floor as pellet wood and also the furniture which are also shown in this unit actually it's for display that's also made up of pellet so i can see all the structural things which are here i understand from the people here i mean uh, the people who explain me here so they told all this structural in terms of the bed the furniture the floor everything is made up of pellet wood so that's what i don't know the exact reason what is the advantage of that i don't have that knowledge but this is what this greenhouse is made up of toilet i tell you one thing that uh, this toilet is deeply root i mean the all the waste materials everything goes very deep to the ground so where there will not be any smell or nothing and those all the waste materials will go and dissolve inside the soil it is deeply i mean the pipe gone inside deep to this ground actually so there is no problem of smell or something like that. see i'll show you one important thing all this uh, you know the washing water i mean the washing the water from the washing machine but uh, water from the kitchen everything goes into this uh, system even the rain water also and they recycle it you know they use some chemicals they recycle it and which, which you can repurpose it for your day to day uh, i mean household work so that's the best thing they are given here see here the ducts which are used for conserving the rain water published here you can see here these are the rain water ducts which they collect everything on the top of this you can see this they are collecting all the rain water and they keep it and that they use and they recycle those things to use for your day to day uses so you can see here you can hang your clothes outside and uh, the, for rainy days you can use this rack in the set as i told you the entire furniture and all the you know the beds and everything furniture is made up of you know the recycled uh, you know sip uh, sipping pallets actually i can show it is written here the furniture are made up of upcycled 
shipping pallets to reduce the waste going to landfill. That's what they have written it here. So as I told you, it's made up of all the uh, pallet trees. So I don't have much knowledge about what the pallet trees is all about. But this is how they have utilized the recycled, I mean, I can say, uh, uh, the shipping related pallets to create all these furniture. All the woods you can see, there, it is all made up of pallets actually. And you can see they have also created, you know, uh, you know uh, plants where you can put the rainwater can come and even you can go down to this, uh, you know, plants which are placed here. So that's the advantage of this uh, greenhouse, which is zero emission and zero carbon for this, you know, for this uh, greenhouse. So now I'm in the kitchen section, so I, you can see this, uh, this is the solar power, you know, the battery and all those connections are say here and you have a nice freeze and you have a ample space for your kitchen things and also you have a nice TV here actually. So you can see the, the length of this place where it looks really beautiful and very compact and nice. So it is absolutely zero carbon, uh, you know, the place where uh, this design has been done. And what I understand that uh, city of Cape Town is in process uh, to approve this because there is a big issue of load shedding where a lot of people are getting affected due to the continuous uh, load sheddings in South Africa. So they wanted to create this model to sustain with the solar power. At the same time, they are in process of giving the off-grid also in terms of like uh, if there is an issue with the solar power, they can even think of uh, giving an alternate uh, energy solution through ESCOM. So the discussion is still going on. But I believe uh, this model, if it gets success, it is going to be really helping a lot of people, uh, you know, in South Africa with a less budget. Uh, obviously, you have your, you should have your own land, but the model, how it is created, the entire cost has been given. So the cost is, as I told you from the beginning of this video, is almost three thousand. Uh, I mean, three hundred thousand rand, or I can say, if inflation, I can add it might be four hundred thousand rand. So in Indian rupees, you can say nearly twenty lakhs. So it's not a very big. Uh, amount which which you are going to pay where you have your zero emission carbon dioxide from this house it's a greenhouse completely self-sustained house before i close this video i'll tell you if you wanted this kind of you know green uh, set of uh, i mean you wanted to buy a containerized house green house actually let's say one customer uh, wanted to have this container house so he has to inform to the city of cape town where based on his plan let's say he wanted a double story container or a single story container whatever the design actually so there are various multiple vendors are involved in this you know in this setup actually so he can have a discussion what kind of design he wanted so once the design everything is all finalized then that person has to get a sign up from the city of Cape Town because what is the advantage of that let's say I have purchased a container and this, like this setup I purchased and after that I have an issue let's say I have a sparking issue where the solar panels are not working fine then then I, I, I'm in the mercy of those uh, uh, I mean vendors who have who has given me this service I mean I can say who has set up this house actually then if they, they will not turn up and they run away with my money what I'm going to do so that is where they have done a very good thing by the city of Cape Town where once you have your design ready get it approved by the uh, government and city of Cape Town once they will sign successfully how they will sign they will periodically come and check your setups I mean when the, the various vendors working based on those designs they will come and check those uh, uh, I mean progress of your work and the quality of that work and once everything goes well if they are satisfied then give a sign then once the document signed up then the grid I mean your uh, you know the house of, of grid is on actually I mean then you can switch on house so any problem goes let's say after some months or something you have an issue where electricity is not working or something is not going well then you can inform to the city of Cape Town they can come and help you even they can trace the vendors to help you and in between that period what exactly I, uh, I cannot make you guarantee but what I'm hearing that in that off period let's say something goes wrong with your solar panel or something they can even give a temporary escom uh, you know uh, connection to your house so that's the advantage if you get a sign i mean uh, signature from this uh, city of cape town before you switch on this uh, greenhouse 
so that's a great advantage of that so this is going to help a lot of people who are really facing uh, in terms of load shedding you know south africa is having a bigger issue in terms of load shedding uh, because of the nuclear power plant is come which is really having some issues so i'm not going to go into the details so at least people have an alternative to escape from this load shedding and they can have a plan b to continue their sustainability and this sustainability is really zero carbon dioxide and i have already explained in a very high level how this greenhouse is made up of i hope uh, i am very thankful to my friends who has really given me the information about this and i am very thankful to the people of the specific ladies who actually don't wanted to come into the video because of their rules and regulations i am very thankful to them for giving me all the insights and uh, this is really a best thing i have seen in my life one of my best thing i have seen in my life So I hope you got a glimpse of this greenhouse and uh, you have enjoyed this video and you can come here in Greenpoint anytime on a Saturday and it is open and you will get more details once you discuss with these people I could not cover very fine details of this place and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to click the subscribe button of my channel and see you in my next video till then bye bye take care